I drank a mousse for breakfast, an inch of a dessert. I'm kidding. I didn't get into a car accident that wired my mouth. I actually just had this thing in my mouth. It's um, a green tea bag because I burned the top of my mouth and that actually helps. It just makes it feel like three ugh, like <laughs> when you talk. Ugh, let, me, ugh, let me take it out. Ugh. What's up y'all, it's West Indy Ray, back again with another video. And this video is for anybody who has recently big chopped or for people who are still struggling with their big chops. Now if you guys know anything about me at all and have maybe watched my older videos, the one about my big chop journey maybe, you'll probably see that I did struggle a lot with my big chops. So these are just some tips and some things that I want to say to you guys that'll probably help you a little bit with your journey. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because you guys need to be getting these updates. You know, I'm here for you and you're not going to see that I'm here for you unless you subscribe to me and then I pop up on your feed. So make sure you hit that button. Alright, so firstly, have confidence. I know I talk about confidence a lot. I can do a video explaining to you exactly what I mean by that or how to achieve more confidence. If you want me to do a video like that, make sure you give me a thumbs up if you don't want me to do a video like that, give me a thumbs up anyway and write in the comment section what you think I should do my next video on. But confidence is by far one of the most beautiful things that you can have. It's one of the most sacred things that you can have inside of you that nobody can take away from you, okay? That being said, my next tip is to be patient with yourself. I know I talk a whole lot about confidence in like every single video that I make, but when it comes to you, sometimes you're just not there yet. So be very understanding with yourself Learn at your own pace and make sure that you're not trying to rush into anything. Sometimes you're just not ready yet and it takes time. So just understand that and make sure that you're taking steps to work towards being a more confident person. Next thing is to make sure that if you need to do protective styles, you can do them, okay? Make sure you're not using them as a crutch. You might want to get out of that habit. I have a video, my hair journey video actually kind of discusses that. But protective styles are there for a reason. They help your hair grow and become more healthy and they also sometimes help you cope with your hair being cut off. Next thing, make sure that you're not doing it for nothing, okay? Don't big chop all of your hair and then grow it back to be this long and then relax it right after that because you put yourself in a position to where maybe your self-esteem went down during the process and maybe you know you had nights where you cried and all that stuff and then you worked overtime to get your hair to grow this much and then you're gonna go put relaxer in it don't do that because then you just wasted all your time <laughs> the next thing make sure you enjoy waking up carefree every day with your twa sprinkle a little bit of water on it and hitting the door okay because all that is gonna go away in the awkward stage and you're gonna be mad because your hair is gonna be too long for some things and too short for other things and it's just gonna be a hassle so just make sure that you're enjoying your twa while it lasts that being said make sure you also do all the crazy little funky things that you want to do with your hair before it starts growing out to the point to where, you know, if something happened to it, you would be devastated. If you want to color your hair purple, do it while it's short because it'll be so easy to just cut that little bit of hair off and go on about your business. Once your hair is long and you dye it purple and blonde, bleach blonde and all these other colors and it gets damaged, Oh, you're gonna be hot. My next tip is to make sure that you're deep conditioning. I like deep conditioning at least once a week when my hair is not in protective styles. Sometimes I actually do more, but do not neglect the deep conditioning and make sure the deep conditioner that you use is right for your hair. Next thing, don't worry about the boys, what they might think of your hair because I actually went through something like that one time. I, my first boyfriend, he told me the two things that I couldn't do with myself is cut my hair off and gain weight. Don't ask me why I was with him, but let me tell you, after we broke up, I cut my hair off and he still wanted me. So don't worry about what these little boys say because it, it means nothing. Also, make sure that you're eating right and taking your supplements if you want your hair to grow at the right pace. Next thing I really, really do enjoy is scalp massages. They have different massages that you can use. Some of them are, just look like claws, some of them vibrate, or you can use your hands or Bay's hands if he wants to give you a nice little head massage if you have one. If you don't, if you're single, then you might have to just do it yourself like me. <laughs> but scalp massages are the bomb and they really, really, really help with thickness and length. You know, as well as oils and all the other things that I talk about in my other videos. Next thing is actually a pet peeve of mine. Don't focus on hair types, okay? Because everybody is different. 
that's actually, you know, has deep roots in racism and colorism, and we don't do that around here. No, not on my channel, not ever. So make sure you're not getting consumed in the hype because certain things that work on people with your same hair type might not necessarily work for you, so you can just let that die. Next thing is to make sure you feel your feelings and experience every bit of this because you may or may not do it again. The lessons that you will learn, you know, having no hair, <laughs> Like you'd be surprised, things that don't even seem like it'll be related, it really does have impacts on everything. Next thing that you could do that might serve to be helpful is to join a group, whether it's my YouTube channel, hitting subscribe on it and commenting with all of our other friends that are down below or just getting closer to your friends who have recently cut off their hair or maybe joining a support group online or at your college campus or whatever it is make sure that you join a group if you need that extra support and lastly make sure that you are fulfilling your responsibility of sharing your story because there are so many women who just need to know that they're not alone just like you do sometimes otherwise you wouldn't be on my YouTube and I'm happy to have you here so if you can share your story with somebody whether it's passing by them in the store or jogging getting healthy and then you see them and you like girl your hair is cute or like getting ice cream I don't know because some people don't like jogging some people like ice cream I don't know like whatever it is just make sure that you're sharing your story that you're being a light to somebody and that you're showing them that hey look you're not alone so I hope this video was helpful make sure to like subscribe comment and share follow all my social media accounts right down there always remember that I love you be a light to this world and let me know if there's anything else that you want to see on my channel because I will surely have it for you okay I love you guys so much have a blessed I got lipstick on my face.